All right, this is James Bay for tonight here, and we're on the Madagascar Escape to Africa game for the Wii. I'm going to be showing you guys a walkthrough on how to play the mini golf game. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks so that way you can get a really nice score. This video is going to have some cuts because I'm going to I'm not going to be able to I can't always do it every time, but I'm going to it's going to take me a while, but I will get in some perfect clips for pretty much every single hole. Uh, almost every hole in this game you should be able to get a hole in one in. But anyway, um, we're going to get started. We'll go to hole one. So here we go. Okay, so here we are on hole one. This is uh, called Juju Tiki's and this is a par three. What we're going to try and do is that little pot up in the middle. We're going to try and get the ball in there and I'll send the ball all the way over to the next area. We're going to hit it high power. There it is. It'll go in there. I'll shoot the ball over. We'll tap the ball stopper. We tap it a few more times, and we get a hole in one. And that's how you do it, just like that. Um, in case you don't get that, I'm going to show you a clip right now on another way to get a hole in one on this hole. Be right back. Okay, so this is going to be the second way to get a hole in one on this par three uh, hole number one. I'm going to show you uh, what to do if you can't get the ball into that pot. What you want to, let's say you're hitting and you hit a shot like this. You were so close, first tap the ball stop or let it bounce. Tap it one more time like that. Let the ball go in. Let the bird get it. Now you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, press A to let the bird spit the ball. You want to do it on the left. So when that bird gets to the left, like that, you want to do it like that. Tap and then hold. And there you go. That's the other way to get a hole in one. I know I'm going through this fast. However, try if you need to replay the video a few times. Um, and the the reason why the ball was turning like that is because pressing B has a ball stopper uh, uh, in the game. What you got to do to uh, get the ball stoppers you have to buy it in the duty free shop let's go on to hole two here we go okay hole two is a par four this is called downhill uh, instead of going down the hill turn the screen over here as you can see the flag and the hole was right there what you want to do is you, whenever you turn the screen you want to line up straight to the hole and you want to aim a little to the right of it we're going to turn a little bit more now the key with the ball stopper is when you when you use it in the when you use a ball stopper, it's going to go into counterclock motion, and w whenever you stop using it, it's going to stay wherever it was. So let's say the ball was going to be coming downwards. Uh, the next time you use it, it's going to start going up to the right a little bit more. So that's how I know like how to use the ball stopper technique. It's all about um, feel in the game. Like uh, if you're a true gamer, you'll get it anyway. Um, if, if you really understand it, you'll be able to do, you'll be able to pull it off. So what we want to do is we want to hit it about there works, and then you just want to tap and hold just like that. There's a hole in one. That's an albatross. Uh, it's a hole in one on a par four. Uh, there is another way to do it on this hole in case you don't want to attempt it and go out of bounds. Most likely you won't. We'll play that second way right now. Okay, we're back on hole two. So what we're gonna do is we want to hit about. Good power let's turn the screen now what we want to do is we want to tap the ball stopper we want to go down the left lane instead of the right because there's a hill over there as you guys were able to see now if we do this right you should be able to get it in for a hole in one the first way is preferred though um, because you might end up getting a two on this one uh, an eagle so let's move on to hole three now okay we're on hole three this is bag checking, it's a par three. What we want to do is we want to shoot the ball up like this to the hole. Notice how I got the hole kind of straight uh, lined up to the middle of the screen. And I got the arrow. I don't want you don't want to put the arrow like this. You want to put the arrow to the right a little bit. Because the ball stopper tends to move to the left. And we want to shoot it at pretty much full power. Almost full power. So about there. And then you can tap it and then get it in like that. Or you could if you're really got it lined up you, you could uh, hold the ball stopper in and then you can get it right in sometimes I've been able to drop the ball right in the best way to do it is to bounce it so that way you can see where the ball is regarding the hole because it's hard to see where it is in the air let's go to hole four okay here we are in hole four this is craters and it's a par four this is a tricky hole to get a hole in one on however if you're able to do it then that's pretty impressive the key on this one is you want to turn the Turn the arrow just a little bit to the right, right about there, because there's there's two craters up ahead that you want to avoid going in. You want to go straight toward the hole, and there's a small crater right by it. You'll see it when I hit the ball. 
So you just turn the arrow a little bit, and then you want to use three quarters power. So there, that'll do it. And then that'll avoid the ball from going in. And there it is. There's the hole in one. Be able to pull off this uh, hole in one. That's pretty impressive. Uh, this final, this fine uh, took this one. This hole. Sorry, I can't speak. This hole took me so many takes, guys. It took me at least 15. Uh, I'm so glad I finally got it. Uh, but if you're able to get a hole in two, then that's still all right. Let's go on to hole five. Okay, we're now on hole five batch. It's a par three. You know what we want to do on this one is we want to raise the incline all the way up, and then we want to hit high power. However, we want to hit high power as that rock is coming down. That allows to give us a good amount of timing and allow us to go through for a nice shortcut. There we go. And tap the ball stopper there a little bit. And then tap it a little bit more so it goes in that counterclockwise motion going in for the hole in one. And that's how you get a hole in one on the hole number five. So let's move on to hole number six now. Okay, we're on hole six, boost the ball to par four. What you want to do on this one is you want to add incline. I'm going to hop over everything and make sure the foos on the back that's moving from left to right in the middle is out of the way. I would recommend waiting until it passes by. So let's go now. Tap the ball stopper and get a hole in one. There you go, just like that. There may be a second possible way. If there is, we'll go on to the second way. I'm pretty sure I do know of a second way. However, if I find that it's not working for me, then we'll move on to hole 7. Uh, so we'll either move on to the second way or we're going to hole 7. You'll see right about now. Okay, here we are on hole 6. And this is going to be the second way to get a hole in 1 on this one. What you want to do instead of inclining is you want to go to the right. You want to aim to the right. And then once the foos in the back moves over to the right... Do about three quarters power and tap eh, don't tap it yet sometimes you just have to play around with this wait for it to straighten out and there you go just like that that's a second way to get a hole in one the first way is a lot better since you have a lot more kinetic energy in the ball as you can see the ball was starting to get down to uh, it was losing kinetic energy it was going all to potential so that one you, uh, that one's tricky to do. However, I was able to pull it off. Let's now go on to hole seven. Okay, we're on hole seven. Hippo panic. It's a par three. This one you're probably thinking there's no way to get a hole in one on this one. Well, actually, there is a way, and I can pretty much do it every single time. What you want to do is add incline, and the, see the first hippo on the left. What you want to do is you want to hit it high power when that hippo comes out. So it's got to be in sync, so now. And that'll allow you to get through. And then the ball is going to go a little bit to the right because there's an obstacle here. And then press and hold the ball stopper, and then you get it in for a hole in one just like that. I can pretty much do that one every single time. And as you can see, every hole I've played in the past, at least on this round, because I've had to restart many times, I've gotten a one on. So we'll see what happens. Let's go on to the next hole. Okay, guys, now we're on Junkyard, hole eight. It's part four, the hardest hole in the game to get a hole in one on. So if you're able to still pull off an eagle, that's still pretty good. But if you're able to pull off a hole in one, that's more impressive than hole four. So what you want to do on this one is you want to go to the right a little bit, and you want to you want to use high power. If you don't use high enough power, you might end up going into the out of bounds. Zone. So so in this case, I wasn't able to get over there so I'm gonna hop over this target and then I'm gonna ball stop and get in the hole for a two this is the only two you guys are gonna see me get in the game so we'll hop over medium speed and we'll get it in for a two so we're gonna get a two on this hole but that's okay uh, let's uh, move on to hole number nine okay here we are at hole nine the maze it's par three instead of going that way turn around and just jump to the hole from this way of course, don't go out of bounds or fall in the water. What you want to do is you want to raise the thing up, and you want to go about three-quarter power. And then ball stop, and then there you go, just like that for a hole in one. And that was all in one take. We didn't have to do another one on that. Let's go on to hole 10. Hole 10, mounds to par four. What you want to do is just hit the ball straight. Use full power. 
and you want a ball stop uh, now and you just tap it you don't hold it you just tap it let the ball go to the right and tap it again a few times and then there you go and just like that there you go let's go on to hole 11 okay guys we're now on hole 11 cake which is a par 3 now this hole what you want to do turn the screen a little bit and then you want to incline all the way again keeping that uh, that incline meter a little bit to the right of the hole flag and then you want to go full power and then get it in like that hold ball stop in and then stop it right there and you get it in and that'll that'll be it hope you guys enjoyed um, I'll be doing some more videos on mini golf either before this or after this one thanks for watching CLS for more videos that means comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video hope you found help you uh, found this video helpful by the way CLS means comment like and subscribe all right see you guys in the next one bye